American Pickers star Mike Wolf's $93 million Tennessee town revamp has continued as new businesses open in the city. Last year, the History Channel star purchased properties in Columbia, Tennessee, including a restaurant, coffee shop, and more to help revitalize the sleepy town. In January, the U.S. Sun revealed that Mike, 60, purchased seven commercial properties in the mule capital of the world. In an effort to bring business and tourism to the small town, which sits just 46 miles from Nashville, the American Pickers star pumped nearly $100 million into the project. The project is costing $93 million. The town is happy Mike is taking this on to help bring new life to Columbia, a source told the U.S. Sun. Mike's investment appears to be paying off as new businesses have begun springing up around the Tennessee town. New to the area, next door to an old SO service station owned by Mike, is the restaurant and butcher shop Prime and Pint, Butchery and Public House. The brick building, painted a light gray, features large windows across its wide facade with antique-style lamps mounted above them. The inside of the restaurant features an open floor plan similar to a dining hall or street market. Located at 105 East 6th Street, the public house opened to customers on Saturday, March 30, with the restaurant's Facebook page describing the eatery as reviving culinary heritage. At Prime and Pint, we intertwine the timeless craft of butchery with the spirited ambience of a community-centric public house and scratch kitchen dining experience, the description read. The menu includes specialty items such as chicken cordon bleu, mushroom bolognese, and tuna au poivre. Off the grill or from the butcher, customers can order a ribeye, New York strip, or a tomahawk steak. An invitation posted on social media read, We are now open. Whether you're looking for meat to grill or lunch slash dinner plans, we've got you covered. Come by and enjoy our butchery and scratch kitchen, we're ready for you. See you soon. Next month, the citizens of Colombia will soon be able to partake in a new donut eating experience. Opening June 15, Build a Donut Bakery, shortened to Bad Bakery, is setting out to redefine the donut experience. Located at 106 East 7th Street, its website reads, We don't just serve donuts, we empower you to build your own delectable creations. Founded in 2023, we're a fresh and innovative addition to the culinary scene in our charming town. Condos are currently being constructed across the street from Mike's shop, Columbia Motor Alley, promising a home for new residents to coincide with all the new businesses. A source told the U.S. Sun, they are building a six-story condo with a restaurant. Next to that is going to be a car place. The town is changing rapidly. It's a change that is welcomed by some citizens but shunned by others in the community. It's kind of interesting because a lot of people don't want change and some people do, so we're in that flux, a town source said of Mike Wolf bringing business to Columbia. According to property records, one of Mike's recently purchased commercial properties is 4,320 square feet and valued at $214,100. Rented to Hazelwood Laboratories, their business description reads, Boutique Music Systems for Hospitality in Home. Mike also became the owner of a 2,900-square-foot property with a value of $192,700 where Mule Town Coffee currently resides. Another commercial property is 4,653 square feet and is appraised at $336,300. The Drama Theater Packard Playhouse rents the space. Mike also owns a commercial property rented out to Trek Bicycle Store Columbia worth $464,400. For holidays, including Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, the price increases to $425 a night. The lodging features one bedroom with a king bed, a couch that pulls out a queen bed, a bathroom, a kitchen, and a washer and dryer. The space is filled with antiques picked by Mike. A description of the rental on the website reads, This is the first time that fans of American Pickers get to see pics from the show that Mike has pulled out of barns and sheds across America presented as decor. The entire one-bedroom loft is located above a bicycle shop inside a two-story brick building dating back to 1857. The loft measures about 1,100 square feet, 
which for Mike was the perfect size to showcase his own one-of-a-kind, Americana style. Guests will appreciate how Mike has integrated items of different vintages and locales to create one cohesive look. The incorporation of natural pieces, like antlers and bison sculpture, partner well with the more industrial rusted picks. Intentionally placed vintage signs delineate and organize spaces like the hand-painted, wooden sign outside the bedroom which reads, Rooms for Tourists or the double-sided turquoise, City Cafe, sign picked in Alabama and now hanging over the kitchen island. Mike said of the space on the website, There's so much to see and experience here. I wanted to create a space that allowed visitors to experience the charms of staying on Main Street in a small town. One of my favorite things is to look outside the 13-foot windows at the 1905 courthouse and hear the clock in the tower on top of it chime every hour. You can walk downstairs into the street and see the shopkeepers preparing to open for the day you can even smell the biscuits and bacon puckets is cooking up for breakfast. Mike bought the former Chevrolet dealership Columbia Motor Alley, built in 1948, in November 2017 for $400,000. The estimated value is $717,400 and the building is a massive 13,440 square feet. A source close to Mike previously told the U.S. Sun, it used to be a car restoration building and then Mike Wolf bought it. He has employees who work on bicycles and more in the garage section. Mike has his cars and motorcycles here on display. He has motorcycles, bikes, cars and antiques he finds on the show. The store includes a merchandise shop and two vintage gas pumps positioned outside. There are also various vintage cars and motorcycles from Mike's personal collection on display, including a black Ford Model A, a red Porsche, and a beige 1934 Ford Coupe. Mike also hosts Columbia, coffee, and cars in the spring, summer, and fall months. A second source told the U.S. Sun that fans can expect to meet Mike at the garage during business hours, which are every Friday to Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The insider said, Mike tries to go to Columbia Motor Alley when it's open. He takes the time to talk to everyone who visits. According to property records, Mike also dropped $600,000 on a 976-square-foot property which used to be an SO service station, on September 15, 2022. The U.S. Sun previously reported the space will be a restaurant, as exterior construction has been completed. The front of the restaurant has a wooden pergola with light streaming from the beams. There are gray pavers under the pergola instead of concrete. The fire pit area also has pavers, and there is a brick bench for customers who want to sit around the fire. Opposite the brick fire pit are pavers that are elevated, which will be a stage for karaoke and performers. A black metal gate and brick planter boxes with shrubs surround the outdoor area.